Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we're zooming in on someone that has been much, much requested once again, and that is Lucrezia Borgia. So this is another one of those people that is rumored and has gone down in history as a very beautiful woman, although we don't know exactly what she looked like. So Lucrezia Borgia lived in the late 15th and early 16th centuries and she was the daughter of Pope Alexander VI. That means she was also a member of the very controversial Borgia family. Now, I'm sure you have heard of this family at some point in your life. Um, there have been many books written about them, shows on TV, documentaries. They were a very, very controversial family in Renaissance Italy. The Borgia family wanted to acquire a lot of power within the country, which was very divided at the time, and they didn't stop at anything to achieve this power. There are loads of rumors surrounding them about murder and poisoning and incest, and some of these rumors concern um, Lucrezia as well but it's very hard to historically prove how much of this is true. What we do know is that she was a very beautiful young woman. She was married three times throughout her life, all in arranged marriages with political agendas, of course. Her first two husbands were murdered, presumably by her own family, in order to kind of make her available for another arranged political marriage. And she died herself at age 32, so she had always been very young and beautiful. Now besides her three marriages, she also had a bunch of affairs with men and she is said to have had many pregnancies, loads and loads of pregnancies, of which many went wrong and those that were successful, the children often still died at a very young age. I believe there were three children of hers, or maybe five in total, that made it into adulthood and she actually died herself after giving birth to a child. So like I mentioned in the beginning, we don't know that much about what she actually looked like exactly. We don't really have any proven contemporary sources of her. There are a couple of paintings and portraits that are ascribed to um, be her portraits, but it's very hard to prove this scientifically. So we can only, you know, guess at what she might have looked like. And we also have a couple of written sources and from all of this we can gather that she was very beautiful, very very beautiful and she pretty much fit the renaissance beauty ideal perfectly. She would have had long blonde hair, um, some accounts say that it went down to her knees and she had light hazel eyes. So pretty much the perfect woman in renaissance eyes. So the look that I went for today is my guess at a look that she may have sported back then, um, going off of the couple of portraits that we do have and um, what I know of the renaissance period. So this is the look that I went for with the hairstyle. She is always depicted with either curly or wavy hair, so I went for some curls in my hair as well, but let's start with the makeup. Now, ladies in the Renaissance didn't wear makeup, so I'm going to keep it very natural and just use a little bit of makeup to make myself look a little bit better, but in a very natural way, so we're kind of going for a no makeup makeup look here. So I'm going to start with a little bit of BB cream, which I'm going to apply all over my face for a smooth base. And then I'm going over with a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to use that to get rid of any dark circles that I have and some imperfections here and there. So when that's done, I'm going to powder everything off with a light dusting of translucent powder just to make my face matte and make sure that everything stays in place. So for my cheeks, I'm just going to go over them with a very light dusting of a little bit of blush just to give my cheeks that rosy look. So for my eyebrows, I'm just going to fill those in a little bit and give them a little bit more of a rounded shape. Nowadays, angular, kind of more straight eyebrows are very popular, but back then it would have definitely been more of a rounded shape. So I'm going to try and make mine look a little bit more like that, just very lightly. And for my eyelashes, I'm just going to curl those with a eyelash curler. And my lips, I'm going to keep very natural with just a little bit of a lip balm. So for the hair, like I mentioned, she is always depicted with curly hair, either very tight small ringlets or just loose waves. So I'm going for something in between, and I'm going to take a very small curling iron, the thinnest one that I have, and curl my entire head of hair with this. So when everything is curled, I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes for these curls to cool down and really set before I run my fingers through them and kind of separate everything and make it more fluffy and natural looking. So I'm going to separate my hair into a neat middle parting and then I'm going to pull back two pieces from the front towards the back. I saw this in 
one of the portraits of her. So I'm just going to pull those back and pin them down there with a bobby pin. And I'm going to do that once again a little bit lower. And then I'm going to take a white ribbon. Ribbons were very popular in Renaissance to use in hair, as you may remember from my Renaissance hair history video. So I'm going to use one today as well and I'm going to use this to tie my hair back in a low pony. And then I'm going to wrap the ribbon around my ponytail a couple of times and then go back up again and tie it down there with a bow. And there is your Lucrezia Borgia look done. Now, like I mentioned, it's very hard to kind of make a tutorial about her since we know so little about what she actually looked like. But I really hope you enjoyed this video anyway, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons videos. And speaking of which, don't forget to leave your requests for the next episode down in the comments below so I can pick out the most popular one. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!